All right. I mean, it looks like Asia is setting the tone, isn't it? I mean, Asian markets yesterday were down. U.S. was down this morning. Uh, I mean, Asia is not following what the U.S. Uh, did, which is uh, which was down sharply. It's higher. Hang Seng especially is up 4%. But as I said, with regards to Hang Seng, there are specific property sector measures which have been announced yesterday late night in China, uh, and that is boosting. I mean, that is the single most important sector in China, property, uh, in terms of contribution to GDP, contribution to jobs and everything. And that's been the reason why, I mean, China bears have been so bearish that they don't see the property sector coming back up. So this is a, the latest in a series of measures uh, to boost that sector. Uh, and, and we'll go into more details later on. Okay, we'll uh, hear out some important opinion that we got yesterday. This is from uh, people like Mark Mobius, needs no introduction, a veteran emerging market investor. Shankar Sharma, also is someone who we spoke with, remains very bullish uh, from a four, five-year perspective. Listen in. As soon as we get more money and we put more into India, plus we diversify. Uh, Turkey, uh, we're putting money into Turkey, we put money into Brazil and others. But at the end of the day, India is going to be the bright spot from a long-term perspective. But, of course, one constraint for India is uh, government regulation. As you know, uh, for foreigners to come into India, there's some uh, bureaucratic steps that have to take place. And the degree to which uh, uh, Ms. Modi is going to uh, eliminate these uh, barriers will be a big, big uh, plus for the market. And I know he's working on that. He's programmed to speed up uh, the uh, improvement uh, or the agreement process is very, very important. India is a standout market, I think, not just, you know, in the last one year or six months, but I think it's going to be a standout market for the next several years. You know, it could be two, three, five, ten years. I mean, I don't think any other market will compare, uh, you know, if, ticking all the boxes. I'm absolutely clear. There will be, obviously, ups and downs as part and parcel of the game, but if, at every point out into the future, India will be standing out as a clear outperformer. And, you know, but then the way I invest is that, you know, not always one, you know, all, all eggs in one basket. And, you know, Turkey, I, I mean, I, I bought about two months back, the ETF, which was 33, 24, it's up 40% as a market as a market, in dollar terms, in two months' time. So that is working out well. I think India and Turkey, if you ask me, both very similar countries, both great industrial powerhouses, which have been shadowed by China, uh, they are now you know, coming into their own. And India, of course, is way ahead on all macroeconomic parameters. 